you know, there's guys out there that are absolute craftsmen in primitive technology and primitive skills. And one of those guys is a gentleman by the name of Sean Woods. I remember about six to eight months ago, I was on YouTube and I was doing a search for primitive archery and Sean's video was one of the first ones to pop up. And it was a video of him carving an entire bow using nothing but stone tools. And when I saw that, I was absolutely blown away. I was blown away by the craftsman, by the skill level, and it really takes you back into time and into a point of history that our ancestors used to live off of the land and support their families. Uh, you know, when I make a bow, I use modern day tools. I use scrapers, I use files, I use rafts, I use knives, sandpaper, so forth and so on to make a primitive tool. And when you see uh, someone using stone and bone tools, it, um, it really makes you appreciate things and it actually has a humbling effect on you. So after I saw that, I went ahead and I, I watched some of his other videos and I sent him an email letting him know, you know, such a, such a talent and, and, and so skilled and, and I really appreciated what he was doing for the primitive skills community and, and sharing this information with us. And so we got done chatting back and forth and, you know, I let him know, um, you know, I do a lot of research, a lot of study and a lot of work with California Indian tribes out here. And I told him one of the one of the peoples that I'm doing a lot of research on and doing a lot of reading on is Ishi. And uh, I, I admire his points. I admire his craftsmanship. And uh, and I think uh, I think he had a lot to teach during the time he was on this earth. So Sean asked me for my mailing address and he told me he would send me a package. And uh, about three days ago, I got a knock from the mail carrier and the, the mailman dropped off a package to me and when I opened it up, I was absolutely blown away by what Sean sent me. The first thing he sent me that immediately grabbed my attention was this Ishi arrow. Uh, this is an Ishi style arrow as you can see. Sean does a lot of hunting with these and uh, the, the craftsmanship is, is amazing once again. It's just, you can see that there's such a skill level in everything from the napping to the knocks at the ends to the fletching. And uh, when I looked at this arrow, I actually learned something. I, uh, I started changing my knocks up a little bit. As you can see here, he has kind of a round shape and it's, and, it's a, and it's blended in a little bit more than I used to make my knocks on my arrows. Uh, so, you know, when you, when you get gifts like that, you not only appreciate it, but you also learn from it. So this arrow um, will start from the top and end at the bottom. Uh, this is all sinew wrapped. Uh, these are Canadian goose feathers, wild Canadian goose. And uh, uh, this is resembling uh, turkey vulture. We have a Ishi paint pattern up top. He even signed it, as you can see, by the fletching. This is an ocean spray shaft with a mountain mahogany foreshaft and an Ishi obsidian point at the tip. But you can see how Ishi really tapered his points and these were meant to pierce and penetrate the hide of an animal to secure meat and tools. So as I continued to unbox the package, I noticed he sent me quite a few different points. And the one that really grasped my attention was this Hohokam style point the Hohokam Indians would use in central Arizona years ago. And uh, you can see once again, this is real drastic. It's real tapered up top and it's absolutely sharp. So this is once again, meant to penetrate through the hide and rip through the tissue of an animal to secure meat and tools uh, for their families. So I will be constructing a Hohokam style arrow. Uh, this is the shaft that I'll be using. And uh, I got a little bit more research to do on Hohokam arrows to see if they used a four shaft. But if they did, I'll end up hollowing this out about an inch and a half. And once again, using Sean's point he napped on this arrow. I might even take you through that on my YouTube video. We'll make a series out of it, uh, depending if I have enough time or not. Um, he sent me a few other Ishi points. We have a, we have a larger Ishi point. Uh, we have a couple other points. Um, this one right here, a smaller point. And then we have an even smaller point. 
Now, don't get me wrong, this thing is small, you know, it's uh, maybe, maybe an inch. Um, but even something that's this small can absolutely tear through the hide of a deer. As a matter of fact, a guy named Billy Berger has a video on his YouTube channel of him testing out little bird points used by different native tribes. And uh, he has a real deer and he tests out the arrows using those small bird points and it blows right through the back of the deer. And, uh, and once again, these things are very sharp and they're meant to penetrate through the hide of the creature. And then he sent me another issue point. So this one you can see, I already ended up making an arrow out of it. The same day I received his package, I started making this arrow. This is once again, Sean's obsidian point. We have different uh, paint patterns, kind of, an, kind of an Apache style arrow. Uh, sinew wrapped, arrow weed for the shaft, turkey feathers. And uh, you can see I modified that knock. So once again, I'm always learning. And even with different gifts, we can still learn from them and apply that knowledge to our dirt time. Uh, so, you know, once again, check out Sean's YouTube channel. Just a wealth of information, a wealth of knowledge, and a wealth of skill. I really think you'll learn stuff from it. And, uh, and you know, take that and apply it to your own dirt time and your own skill and experiment with it. Uh, so with that, thank you, Sean, very much. I appreciate it and uh, such a generous gift. And I got something coming your way as well. Uh, so look out for that. With that, I do appreciate you joining me for this video. I'm Jeff with martinsurvival.com. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.